Hey everyone, Black Cat here. And uh, yeah, I've just read something online that I think was. Uh, <laughs> it was very amusing. And um, I wanted to share it with you guys if you've not seen it already. Um, there's a just district attorney in California named Ed Berberian and he's come up with the incredibly bright idea note the sarcasm he's come up with the incredibly bright idea of telling people that they can trade their video games in their violent video games in for Ben and Jerry's ice cream and no I am totally not kidding this is what the fuck was this man thinking? Is he completely off his rocker? He's <laughs> he's put. I'll I'll read you a bit of the uh, the article that I have in front of me. It says District Attorney Ed Burbrian. His name sounds a bit like barbarian to me. <laughs> whose firearm babe, whose firearm buyback program two years ago was so success successful. Officials scrambled for funds to pay for it. Has a new target in mind this fall. Toys and viol toy guns and violent video games. Berberian is joining forces with the Center for Domestic Peace and Ben and Jerry's Ice to Cream Let's keep to encourage families to get funds. rid of toy guns and violent video games. So, Apparently you can trade in your violent video games for some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Your $60 video games for some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. How much is a small tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream in America? I should imagine it's not really that much. Is it like $2? Something like that? The equivalent of a couple of pounds in England? You won't be really getting a, a, a lot of money for these video games if you decide to trade them in. You'll get a pittance for them, so... Why on earth would anyone want to do that? You would want to take your games to GameStop or any other, you know, game store and trade them in for money that you can use in the store, that you can buy a different game with. When I read this, I couldn't stop laughing because I thought to myself, is this guy bloody serious? And he grumbles on about how, you know, we've got to get violent video games away from our children because they can make our children violent and yada, 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 the same boring old crap that these people come out with. Video games do not cause violence. Video games, if anything, can less lessen violence. It's it's shown that people who play video games, you're more likely to now. People who watch my videos know that I can rage pretty hard when I'm playing Uncharted. Yeah, and every gamer in the world gets out any frustration that they have in their favorite video games. They go into their games. And, you know, they, pl they play a game and they rage at it, you know, especially if it glitches or it lags or, or whatever, and you get really angry at it. But that that's no representation of what you're like in real life. I mean, I can get pretty irate when I'm playing Uncharted, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me getting, you know, going all, you know. But that's no representation of what I'm like in real life. The effects of video game violence have no effect on real world behavior. There's no direct link to violence in a video game and violence in real life. If anything, video games tend to decrease violence in people. It's a stress relief thing, isn't it? And and it, it helps helps you after a, a long day at work. It's entertainment, basically. So just like literature, just like a movie, it's it's for entertainment's sake and it's not to be taken seriously, it's not to be taken literally. So this this guy, Ed, <laughs> I I I uh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, Ed. And anyone who is watching this video who is planning on trading in their video games for Ben and Jerry's ice cream. 
<laughs> For the love of God, don't do it. <laughs> Take your video game to GameStop, trade it in, get some money for it. Don't take it to get Ben and Jerry's ice cream. No matter how good Ben and Jerry's ice cream it is. I've never tried Ben and Jerry's ice cream, but I've heard people say it's good. I don't know if you could call this video a rant, but I'm pretty sure it was, because that kind of infuriated me. Thanks for listening to my rant kind of thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.